Hi, it's Sherry Veronica. Someone sent me this video from this Maria Noel, and she had a very poor experience in Barbados. She was sick. She got sick as soon as she landed. In fact, when she was the when she was getting off the plane, she fell ill, and it continued on until she ended up at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Now. When Maria was speaking, she spoke of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital being in Bridgetown Christ Church. And she said she was there in the winter season of Barbados and the temperature was 25 degrees. 25 degrees. Now, obviously she was talking about Celsius and we talk Fahrenheit when we are in, when you're in Barbados, it's Fahrenheit and there's no winter season. She claims she hails from Barbados, a citizen of Barbados. She doesn't speak with an accent, but she claims that she has dual um, citizenship, Barbadian and Canadian. And then when she speaks of her journey with regards to being very ill and her family thinking, wow, she's still alive. When they saw her in the hospital, she, she's still alive. You know, they were surprised that she pulled through. And here she is back home. And she's not asking here in this Go, GoFundMe. She's not asking for medical money that she spent because it was free. She's a, she's a citizen and she claims that her medical care in Barbados was free. And what she's asking for here is she wants to actually have a fund and i don't know how that is going to play out on gofundme but she wants to have a fund and to start up a charity to help people that go to the emergency section of the queen elizabeth hospital that they wouldn't have to experience what she experienced now like i say i think because I live in America. I, I I can hear things and maybe maybe I I can attribute things to what people say and it may not be true. It is me. I'll admit it could be all at me, okay? But I do detect things and I do listen to people when I'm forced to listen. I'm not really someone who will listen to something that is 26 minutes long but i actually listen to this and i invite you to go here maria noel because i don't want to play the whole thing 26 minutes on youtube i don't want to do that but i would like you probably to come back here on my youtube channel and tell me what you think of Maria I'm not saying anything about her illness she was very brave she's a nurse Be, uh, aside from being other things she's a nurse so she was able to detect what was going on with her and she told the people in the emergency room what was going on with her and she talked about the people seem to be uncaring. That's something that you find there a lot in Barbados, maybe in the other islands, but it's almost as though it's part of the blueprint, the, the, the DNA of, of Barbadians that they have to look at. You have to look back on yourself, okay? It's something I do daily, daily. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. Sometimes I go back like seven years, you know, 10 years because I started blogging after what happened to me in Barbados. And it's not pretty, but I ha it's my history. It's, it's part of my history and part of me looking back at what I said and what I did and how I appeared and how I feel now. You have to look back on yourselves, okay? When someone is really, really ill and you can just like look at them and just say, well, you need to get up without assisting them or if someone falls not talking about her but falls down a, a, a flight of stairs and your first instinct is to pull out your phone and and take a video or even before you pull out your phone you giggle that giggle factor is there you have to look back on yourself and you have to ask yourself where did that come from where did i get to behave like that in response to someone being hurt 
and so on in, in response to someone really needed my assistance where did I get that DNA where did I get that inside of me that I could actually see someone hurt and, and giggle or pull for my phone and then if you travel a little bit you'll find that people react differently they they do react differently in certain countries if you fall or if something happens they react with care oh my god may i help you can i assist you it's a different type of situation in different places so you have to look back on yourselves okay and you have to ask yourself but it's a it's an honesty factor too because to look back on yourself and to say oh my goodness this is an area that i need to fix i need to modify this this part of my personality or this part of my reactionary you know my response to things i have to fix that i have to work on that it takes a sense of truthfulness of of intelligence and you have to work to get there now getting back to maria when she talks about bridgetown bridgetown christ church and she went to Barbados she was in Barbados in the winter season 25 degrees or something like that you know it, it just it just and then she says that she's Barbadian when you know there's only dry and wet season there's no Barbados does not experience a winter there's no winter in Barbados I, I just want you to listen you listen and if you have the time, if you have the time or the inclination, maybe we can talk about this on my YouTube channel, okay? But um, she's okay. She's In fact, she's still recovering. What happened to her? I think it happened in December. This is February. And she's, she says that she's still kind of recovering. She has asthma as part of her medical history. That's part of her history. And, you know, she probably, I think she has um, other, another component. It's called auto, uh, some kind of autoimmune, something that she has. That's part of who she is, how she was created. But um, I would like to hear from you as to what you think. Everyone knows that you're in for a, a hurt, a, 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 a hurt when you show up at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. You know, not all, not all people you know feel it but a lot of people do feel um as though they have to wait too long and if you go and you're really really in distress you are in for hurt okay and what she described is something that a lot of Bayesians have heard of you've heard of it but the GoFundMe you know the GoFundMe her saying her say I don't know why that stuck to my craw about her saying Bridgetown Christ Church that, that hit me a, a, a certain way and when she talked about she was there in the winter and then she said 25 degrees without clarifying that she meant Celsius as opposed to Fahrenheit and, and, and if it's Fahrenheit it can't be winter you know, it can't be winter I know what winter is you know <laughs> 17 degrees below <laughs> that's winter that's winter I mean the snot coming out your nose it freeze <laughs> I mean when you're then it's so cold you know you start to leak <laughs> and it freezes on you your eyes start to tear up your your nostrils uh, you know your sinuses start to clear out and everything is freezing on you er, you, you know everything starts to freeze up that's winter. That's winter. We're not talking about a little bit of chilliness. We're talking about pure, pure winter. I mean, you know, but anyhow, I invite you to listen to Maria and tell me what you think of her, her, her situation, especially post leaving Barbados and doing this GoFundMe. Let me know what you think. Okay. This is Sherry Veronica.